just wanted to make a quick video on the insane amount of growth that this uh, Opuntia Kakanapa Luciana has put on. Um, I have never seen a cactus put on this much growth before. It is it's honestly mind blowing. Um, and it just continues like they, they just keep popping out everywhere they're just it's i've never seen this before um this is really really uh promising and awesome um you can see how quickly they become they go from that to that in about two days so it, it's 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 honestly insane to see this has completely changed the shape of this prickly pear and when i put this in the ground like this was Honestly, it was probably like the size of just like this little specimen right here. And it is just in two years became this. It's crazy. It's insane. You can see like these are just giant pads they're putting out. Um, I don't know. I've noticed this week, all of my plants, once it's uh, been over a hundred, it's weird. I've noticed um, a lot of people, you know, s seem to think that plants slow down when temperatures get really hot, but it, I found it to be the complete opposite. Um, this week, all of my plants have just exploded in growth. Um, you can see like my choice right here is putting out a ton of new growth, even though it is a tad bit wilted right now because it is very hot. Um, but it is like all my plants are just, they're growing like crazy right now. You can see this rosemary, or this euphorbia. Put out all this new growth on the bottom here. Super gorgeous. And then my rosemary, I cannot believe how much this thing has grown. It has doubled in size in like two months. Like this is all new growth, all of it. Like it's it's insane. Just loves the climate here in the southwest. Even my uh, Dacelirion here, which is a slow growing plant, has just been creating all kinds of new growth here in the past few weeks. Um, and has, you know, elongated a lot of these, um, I don't know what to call them, leaves. Um, it's just, it's amazing. And uh, of course my Eucalyptus just continues to put on inches every single day. Um, finally got all the grass out here so we will uh, be adding the rocks here pretty soon and uh, planting all the new stuff um, my needle palms are coming I already have one specimen but uh, yeah it's just it's crazy you wouldn't think temperatures over a hundred would be good for a lot of these plants but they they, they, really, they love it as long as you give them ample water um, and a lot of these, like the cactus, I haven't even watered once at all. I never water it. It's They're completely self-sufficient and totally uh, adapted to this climate here. Um, even though we only get about, you know, 10 inches of rain a year, that's enough for them to do totally fine. Um, I did water them last year when I planted them. Um, you know, just a few times to get them established. But uh, see this Gave Perii Coesii is put out, you know, these... Uh, this is all new growth. It's just, it's crazy. It's, it's happening so fast. All my plants here, just doing really, really good. We even got a second flush from the Pierres here. I've been super impressed with the heat tolerance and sun tolerance of Pierre Straponica. Um, I know it's looking a ye little yellow right now. That is actually due to our alkaline soils. I need to uh, fertilize this here with acid um, fertilizer soon. Um, but they have just done great. You know, they've taken temps uh, up to 110 degrees. Awesome plants. also wanted to show you the <laughs> these are all new these are literally all came out within the past two weeks like they were just spears um this just shows you tracky carpus fortunae 
absolutely loves the heat. I don't know why people say they don't. They absolutely love the heat. That's what they grow so much faster um, when temperatures are at 90 or above, as long as you give them tons of water. Um, these guys are on irrigation, you can see here. Um, so they get, you know, flooded every time the sprinklers come on. Um, you can see obviously there's enough water for this uh, evergreen um, wood sorrel to be uh, growing underneath it here, which is native to the redwoods in uh, Northern California. So there's obviously enough moisture going on here. Um, but they just, Trachycarpus does great in the heat. Um, I mean, I've, I've seen some of the biggest specimens I've ever seen are in St. George, Utah, um, you know, about two and a half, three hours south of here. Um, I've seen some, you know, 20, 30 foot Trachycarpus specimens, super tr skinny trunks. Um, some of them with even big uh, crowns and like a, a good amount of a, a skirt as well. Um, so they, they really, they do great. Um, I, I do think they do a lot better in partial shade. Like you can see here, they get shade until about uh, 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. Um, and then this large maple here um, protects them from uh, some of the really, really hot sun at about 5 as well. So they, 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 get, they do get, you know, partial shade here, but they get, you know, very, very hot temps. And they do perfectly fine crazy crazy i'm a i'm honestly really tempted to take this one out it has always struggled ever since i put it in um something is wrong with it i thought maybe it had spear pull or something but i i've been you know like last winter but i i you know tugged on them super hard and they never pulled so i, I might be uh, replacing this with my trachycarpus fortunae bulgaria over here which I uh, just repotted. There's the needle palm that's going in the side yard. Um, so I may be replacing it with this on um, this year, depending on how much growth this puts on. Um, it already has put on a ton of growth this year. So I may be replacing it with that just because that one has always struggled for some reason. Um, that one I got from Florida. It was shipped here from Florida. And uh, this one is from um, Oregon. So this one has just always struggled. And I, I don't know why. I've tried to do everything that I've done with this one and it just, you know, has never done as well. But uh, yeah, even Zagabe Utahensis putting on growth here. Southern Magnolias, of course, put on tons of freaking growth. It's insane. And this Agave Perii Truncata has put on tons of growth as well. These are all new here. Plants love the heat.